Do you know your Fenders? Well, this year, they changed everything. So in the last year, Fender have discontinued the American Vintage, the American Standard, and now, probably the most popular of all time, they've discontinued the Mexican Standard. Yeah, well they've replaced those three ranges with, uh, with a new three. So respectively, we have the American Original, which is replacing the American Vintage. We have the American Professional, which has replaced the American Standard. And we have the Player, which has replaced the Mexican Standard. Controversially as well. Now it might sound like just a rebadging of the 3 Series, but I think there have been some subtle but at the same time really substantial changes that have, um, have fixed problems that people had with the ranges before, but also have just kind of shot all three of them up a notch quality wise. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look at all three of them individually so you can see what the differences are between the original, the professional and the player. <laughs> So the American Original has replaced the American Vintage at the top tier of all the Fenders. The American Vintage were a year, uh, vintage year correct range of guitars priced just below the custom shop. And um, the American Original, it has a very similar vibe. It's still super premium and still uh, inspired by old guitars, but it has a few modern twists. The most notable being the 9.5 inch radius on the neck. Although a lot of the other stuff is still super cool and, and super retro. Like it's the only guitars in the series that has a nitro finished body, which is super cool. It's also the only guitar that retains its uh, vintage tint lacquered neck, which I think is amazing. And, uh, and you still get, despite that 9.5 inch radius, it's a deep U, so on the 50s telly, so super old. <laughs> So moving over to the American Professional, which is obviously replacing the American Standard. This guitar features uh, V-Mods designed by Tim Shaw, who is obviously the bee's knees, uh, which is replacing the custom pickups which were in the American Standard. That's right, yeah, there were, there were custom shop pickups in the American Standard before, but a bit of an upgrade here to get these vintage modified pickups by Tim Shaw, super cool. Uh, and also is of brass saddles, which is very yeah, cool. keeping the vintage correct brass saddles on the on the butterscotch uh, sort of blackguard telly, which is cool. Oh, another cool feature about the professionals is that they kept the um, the single ply black plate um, as well. So you know you can get a really vintage correct instrument with a modern twist. All in all, the Fender Professional series represents the perfect modern instrument for a player who wants a Fender but doesn't necessarily want to go down all those vintage correct avenues. <laughs> Thank you. 
next up, the Fender Player series, the only guitar on the table to come out of Mexico. The Fender Player has replaced the Mexican Standard, the most popular Fender guitar of all time. And this has had some super cool upgrades. So we've got the proper spaghetti logo, which was really one of Very the cool. one of the problems for me about the Mexican Standard. But what is extremely cool is we've got these um, Alnico Tim Shaw inspired type pickups going on in the player series to replace the ceramics that were there before because the ceramics were a bit high output they weren't especially fendery sounding so this is kind of a really cool vintage sounding telecaster now and what's what's super cool is this is available as a black guard this is available in butterscotch the same as the american professional and the american original the only difference is uh, you won't get that single ply plate you'll get a black white black three ply. And, and that's fender again offering working out what people want and they're offering you know the, the lower end guitars in the cool finishes yeah exactly i think that's actually one of the big changes here we've had some amazing colors come out in both the professional and the player which i don't think were necessarily there in the the american standard and the mexican standard they were they were quite you know they were quite a basic color range before now so super cool <laughs> So how do you know what's right for you? Well, the uh, the player series from Mexico now represents a fantastic entry-level Fender really for a really good. reasonable sum of money. I think they're great. Yeah, they no, are I great. I really like them. And what's great is they're now, they're still modern instruments, it's still modern tuners, it's a very modern bridge on the Telecaster especially, but things like the spaghetti logo and the colors available in this range. You love the spaghetti logo. I love the spaghetti, I think it's really that. important. I think it's really important that it's a logo just like the rest of Fender series. I, I just think this is a fantastic looking guitar if you want a backup or if you're looking for your first Fender. This is, or you, or you know, you just want a guitar that you can throw around a bit more that you don't have to care about. This is a super, super cool instrument. The American Professional for me is the most direct upgrade of the of the player series. The original kind of sits aside as its own sort of thing. The Professional is is American. It's uh, it's everything Fender are trying to be. It's their modern guitar where they're not trying to go after vintage correct features. They're trying to make the best guitar they possibly can. And the American Professional is the best guitar they've probably ever made. The American Original, on the other hand, is there for the player that wants something that's vintage correct. This is a fantastic kind of step down from the custom shop, um, but just having that 9.5 inch radius just means that it's a little bit more playable. I think these are wicked guitars for everyone who's into vintage Fenders, but doesn't necessarily want the price tag of a vintage Fender. So that was the all new Fender lineup, the player, the professional and the original. But which one tickles your fancy? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we shall see you very soon.